At Eurofins, we've had many opportunities to guide our clients as they begin and maintain their environmental monitoring programs. Along the way, we've identified a few items to consider while collecting environmental samples. The goal of an environmental monitoring program has two main objectives. One, find pathogens or spoilage microorganisms in the environment before they translocate into your product. And two, demonstrate scientifically that your food safety systems are effective. To help maintain these two objectives, we advise to first collect environmental samples after cleaning, but before sanitizers are applied, referred to as pre-op samples. This demonstrates an effective cleaning program and allows the sanitation team a chance to re-clean if needed before production starts. To determine if your food safety practices are effective during operations, take samples at least four hours into the first shift. It's just as important to ensure surfaces have had a chance to dry or be wiped down. Large amounts of residual sanitizer picked up by collection devices can negatively impact results, even with the use of transport buffers. Collecting environmental samples in an aseptic manner is critical to ensuring the quality of the testing results. If the person collecting the samples contaminates the specimen, the lab results will not accurately reflect the condition of your manufacturing environment. Pay close attention to the manufacturer instructions for use of the commercial sampling tools and ensure proper technique. Transport buffers are liquids added to sponges and swabs to help neutralize sanitizer residue left behind by cleaning and sanitation. Any residual sanitizer could have bactericidal activity, which could negatively impact the ability to count or recover target organisms. The three most common neutralizing buffers are lethane broth, neutralizing buffer, and DE broth. Due to differences in composition, these three common transport buffers are not compatible with all detection methodologies. For example, DE broth is purple and can affect detection methods that require visual observation of a color change. Lethane broth has the least buffering effect on quaternary ammonium sanitizers. Both lethane broth and neutralizing buffer are minimally effective against peroxyacetic acid. It is recommended to select the transport buffer that gives the broadest protection against sanitizers most commonly used in production process. A swab should be used when collecting samples from nooks and crannies, such as screw holes or behind silicone caulking, whereas a sponge should be used for all other sampling surfaces. Since the idea is to catch bacteria if it is lurking on a surface, the larger the sample surface, the better. Ideally, taking a 12 inch by 12 inch or 18 inch by 18 inch sample size is recommended when the sample site has this much surface area. If not, sample the entire area. In all cases, sample by applying pressure wiping the sampling device back and forth, then up and down on the site. Keep in mind the true goal of your environmental monitoring program. One, to demonstrate that your food safety programs are effective. And two, to identify bacteria in your production environment before they can translocate into your product. These quick tips will build a solid foundation for identifying risk in your facility. If you have any questions about how to sample or select your site list, we have experts that can help contact Eurofins at info at and we will arrange a consultation.